Disclaimer, I just want to say this is a game and this is not to be taken seriously. So YouTube, stop. Thank you for understanding that this is just for entertaining purposes. Please don't ban me. Ah, the Aztecs. One of the most, if not the most, famous Mesoamerican civilization. A great warrior culture that once conquered their way through the heartland of what would become modern-day Mexico. But eventually, they would be conquered by the Spanish, destroying and somewhat erasing their legacy. So, let's instead revive the old ways of the Aztecs, slash Mexica, and revive their empire and get a revenge on the Spanish with a great sunset invasion on Kaiser Redux. Because, of course, the Aztecs are well, now gone at the start of 1936, we shall start as their heirs in the form of Mexico. The same Mexico that just had its revolution a few years ago. Now under Zapata, it appears, peace has returned to this unstable land But rumors are brewing that an assassination attempt might be executed on our great leader's life. And just as the rumors predicted, an assassination attempt has been carried out against the great revolutionary hero Zapata during one of his speeches, and unfortunately it seems like Zapata has been slain. With the death of Emiliano Zapata, his brother Eufemio has taken control amidst the chaos. It is imperative that we find the gunman that escaped the scene. With things happening all at once, Mexico has an uncertain future ahead indeed. Of course, the reactionaries have taken to the streets using our moments of weakness to express their discontent with the current government. It might be prudent to keep an eye out on them just in case. Anyway, we must focus on the matter at hand as that gunman was finally found, but we could not squeeze a lot of information out of him. With most leads leading to, well, dead ends, we must make a choice to where our investigation shall look into. We could look into the reactionaries or look into the ever opportunistic Plutarco Elias Calles. Considering Calles' nature, it might be a good idea to sniff out any rumors of that sort as the reactionaries are too easy of an scapegoat. And it seems the worst has come to light as it seems Calles orchestrated everything so he could take over the whole nation while in crisis. He has now been found and will be executed as any traitor should meet his end. With the death of Zapata still haunting our country, and Euphemius this state of politics in general, we must find a solution to our current predicament. Normally in this case we would have two options, either a coalition with Villa and Toledano, or have Calles rise to power, but since we caught that scoundrel on the move, we only really have one option. But not is all well and good inside the coalition, as constant bickering between Villa and Toledano has rendered the coalition inefficient, and finally, the coalition collapses before it can accomplish anything. Since all of this is happening, we might as well reform our outdated army into a great guerrilla army that will make any foreign country that sets foot on our soil pay. With the country rapidly spiraling out of control, the army has finally taken matters into their own hand and finally coped the incompetent government destroying the democratic socialist foundations after the revolution. On the onset of this, General Pablo González Garza, an old ally of Carranza, has promised to rid Mexico of the rest stain. But this has greatly upset the population and have started a guerrilla war against the federal government. Thankfully, it's just a simple minigame that we can crush with 200 rifles in each state. Even though Pablo has secured the country for now, it is clear that this will not last for long. As such, it has come to his attention about an idea to ally another group to help us combat the red influence that still lingers in Mexico. As such, we shall ally the Alianza Antisocialista to finally wrest power from the Socialists. The alliance made from various right-wing groups like Centerkists, Integralists and many more is quite unstable as the only thing that binds them together is their shared hatred for the Reds.
As such, the first problems arise as the most extremist group, the Gold Shirts, have executed a march on the heart of Mexico to topple the synarchists and integralists. With the overwhelming diet of RAM troops swarming the city, the Gold Shirts have taken control from the AAS and now a very bleak future awaits us. But even the gold shirts are divided between themselves with the old guard and the new guard, as such the cycle of division continues. Now with the RAM in charge, it's time to decide the future of the secondary branch of the government. There are two options, we could either maintain the republican system of a more decentralized government without democracy, or push for a more unitary state under the executive branch. Seeing the constant power struggles, it's only natural that we should push for a strong leader capable of leading the charge. While nominally we have control of the entire country, it's not in actuality as our influence only reaches the outskirts of Mexico City. Resistance against our rule continues, and if we want to avoid another coup, we need to rat out all of the enemies of this state. And finally, to eliminate all rifles, the naive integralists and synarchists have agreed to a conference to end our squabbles. But they didn't know that this was our trap. Our paramilitaries entered the conference and finally finished off our main rivals, securing our seat of power. Considering the roller coaster of events that have transpired recently, one might think that, well, that the division and power struggles would end. There, but uh, no, it seems that's still not the case as now the two allies that have secured power for the IRAM are now at odds with Garza and Carrasco buying for power and how Mexico's future will look. With more and more of Mexico being secured by our forces, the Catholics are being the targets of the gold shirts in towns and small cities, and uh, let's just say they're not getting the best treatment. With major urban centers now under our paramilitary's control, it's time to move in and secure the countryside as well, as we don't want any traitors hiding and plotting against us. Just as things are appeared to going back to normality and order was being secured, it appears a region of the country has outright seceded from the state. Of course, that could only be Yucatan, as it has always been a rebellious region, so we will need to take care of them. Oh, and here I'm going to get our character as in this event, it describes how the extremists don't want fake Mexicans or forced Mexicans have become perky securing a certain groups, and I just have to say this. Mr. Carrasco, how the f*** can you claim to be the heir to the Aztecs and want to revive the old culture while same time spewing nonsense like the Mexicans have the same genes as the Nordics, therefore being Aryans even though the old Norse had nothing to do with the old Aztecs? Make up your f***ing mind, are Mexicans heirs to the Aztecs or are they Aryans? You can't have it both ways! Rant over. Anyway, with almost all of the country under our rule, it's time we exterminate the last religious fanatics that still plague the countryside. Oh, and we might as well retake Yucatan so we don't give them enough time to prepare. With our rule secured, cities and towns now under our control, uh, most if not all enemies have been eliminated, we can finally pursue our transformation of the state for our people with the last question being, who shall lead us? Will it be General Carrasco or Garza, old or new? If you're wondering about the Yucatan situation, well, it was really easy as yes, instead of trying to push through the jungles, we just launched a naval invasion and took the capital with no problems. Now, the moment we have all been wondering about who shall take the lead of, for the country. The old General Garza who believes in a new type of Mexican nationalism, a corporatist, or the new General Carrasco who is staunchly anti-Christian and seeks to revive the old pre-colonial past of Mexico. And since we want to revive the old Aztec culture for this video, well, I think it's clear what option we are going to pick. Carrasco is now at the helm. He will now institute his transformation and elimination of socialism, free capitalism, and Catholicism so he can bring Mexico back to its pre-colonial rightful past and heritage. Meanwhile, down south, we destroyed the last Yucatan remnants and reincorporated this region into the fold.
Oh, and because I recorded this way back in April May, slash May, this kind of shows it was still kind of an early release of the patch, so yeah. If Mexico is to reclaim its old heritage and culture back, we must transform the economy to suit our needs. We shall make war and the economy inseparable as one that shall lead us to glory. Our first step to transform society shall be to annihilate the colonial religion of the Hispanic conquerors, Catholicism. We shall be free from foreign influence. With the biggest religion in the country now being eradicated, the spiritual needs for our people are now hollow. As such, we shall embrace the still existent Nahua faith, but it has been tainted by colonial teachings. Such, we shall need to purify it to its old ancestral ways. Now, with the Nahua faith purified, we can now embrace the old gods, the true and powerful gods that guided the old Aztec Empire instead of the weak Abrahamic god brought by the Spaniards. The Teotl shall be praised again. And it seems we are quite lucky today as many of the old codices have fallen in our possession after the constant bloodbath has, that has been Mexico after the revolution. As such, we can revive our faith the way our ancestors practiced it. But it seems those vile Christians have launched their final attempt to take us down and have taken control of many western states. No matter, we shall crush this rebellion like we have all of the others, for we are the heirs to the Aztecs, we are the sons of the people who built the great Tenochtitlan, we shall crush the influence of the false Teotl. No one will stop us, nothing will stop our great resurgence. Uh, uh, oh, or that might actually do. Uh, so, with the fall of Mexico City to the Cristeros, it seems that the Neo Aztec experiment has been terminated. So, Viva Cristo Rey? Okay, now that the Cristeros have taken control from Carrasco, it's, it seems that they are also divided, as it was a coalition to take the unfaithful down, but now what? Well, with the RAM purge of the integralists, the small remnants have now united with the mother democratic circles and proclaimed the constitutional monarchy. And we can even decide we want to give this empire business a third try or start afresh with a new kingdom. Uh... So that's it everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, we have created a new constitutional monarchy under the Habsburgs and a bright new future awaits Mexico, ah no cierto, te la caíste XD. Rewinding back time, before this all happened, seeing a vision from the future, Carrasco decided to reinforce Mexico City in time before the Cristeros could enter the city unopposed. With reinforcements from the south, our professional army shall crush the Christ's final crusade against our war machine. We quickly crushed the rebellion and restored order to the west. Now it's time to deal with the traitors who rose up against our rule and sent them to their supposed god. If we are to return to the old ways, we shall too reestablish the old order and hierarchy, as well as the old fear that honorable eagle slash warrior, jaguar warriors that were the elite soldiers of the old empire. Quetzalcoatl, the feather serpent, represents the maximum authority and god of the Teotl, uh, well, excluding Huitzilopochtli, which was the maximum god to the Aztecs compared to any other Mesoamerican civilization, but Besides a point, we are the sons of the great Quetzalcoatl that shall guide us to victory over the Hispanic false god and unite our people once again.
In other news, the old royal Aztec family have finally come out and we now must decide what to do with these traitors that abandoned their people, their empire and their gods. For the sake of not spilling any more bloodshed, we just pardon, pardon his house and be over with them. The state and society have been reforged in the ways of the old gods. Our people have been reborn and now resemble our great Aztec ancestors. We have done away with the Hispanic and foreign elements that now fear the new Mexica Empire ready to take its revenge against them with our great Tlatuani behind us. Of course, we have been talking about all about the Aztecs, but what about our southern brethren, the Mayans? Even though they're not entirely our blood, we shall accept them nonetheless and grant them their long-awaited autonomy that they have been clamoring since they first resisted the vile Spaniards. But now an even bigger question has been raised. Up to what extent we shall pursue our ambitions and revivalize some of our old customs? Some are fearing as Carrasco is going deeper into the rabbit hole, that is, his obsession with the Aztec Empire of old, to the point that he is now being referred as Tlatuani. Yeah. With Carrasco holding a vast amount of power and with no way to control him, he has now declared the rebirth of the Aztec Empire? He has even renamed himself to something more fitting, abandoning his old Hispanic name, and he now shall be known as Itzcoatl II. Also, a new, nice new flag to represent our state is required. Even more radical reforms have been implemented, like the reintroduction of the old 18-month calendar, bringing back sacred sacrifices to the old gods like Tlaloc and Huitzilopochtli, and even removing all traces of the Spanish language, replacing it with Nahuatl, the old language of our people that was almost extinguished. As expected, most international nations have been shocked with our renewal of sacrifices to the gods, as such have begun to sanction us in response to what they call human rights. But we shall not yield to these foreigners and we will continue our customs and traditions for everyone to see. With most of all the old nobles gone after the conquest of the Spaniards, a new noble royalty must be established. For we are not just a mere nation like those Europeans, we are an alliance of various great city-states conforming into one massive empire, for that our official name shall need to be replaced. With all of these things now in motion, Aztec revivalism is now in full effect, our people have been transformed and a new golden age is upon us. Just in time for our final army reforms to take place so that we may start to venture forwards into the international stage. Now, you may be wondering, well, it's a Mexico game, so that means you're reconquering the old lands from the gringos, right? Well, to be quite frank, eh, I have already done that quite a number of times by now, and we will be doing that in the future as well, as I have more Mexico videos coming in the future, so instead of that, why not we let those Anglos kill themselves, and instead, we purge the remnant nations of the Spaniards. But to do that, we will need some console commands as the game really wants you to go north before going south. I never really understood this, like, if anything, you would want to conquer more Central American nations before going up against the US to get more resources and industry, but oh well. Now, let us eliminate the Latin part of Latin America. Oh, is that the montage music I am hearing?
Finally, with Central America under our boot, it's time we shall sail on to the old world and have a revenge against the conquistadors. The blood of Cortes shall spill? But sailing all the way from Mexico to Spain is quite a voyage, so instead I made a genius move. By declaring war on the Entente, I managed to get on the good grace of the Reds, specifically the Brits, that conquered Portugal, and I used it as a forward base of operations for our events against the Spaniards. Onwards, men! Finally, at long last, we have enacted our revenge against the Hispanic fools who dared conquer our great people. We are at the height of our power, and we shall cleanse the North American continent of colonial scum. But that story is for another day. Well, that's everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of this year's Mexico Madness Month. Next, G next week, we shall explore the old Mayans in Yucatan, as they also got a rework alongside Mexico. If you would like to see more content similar to this one, remember to subscribe, this really helps out the channel. This was Defects Expert, you are dismissed, soldier.